Welcome to this series of videos about the sound effects used by professional drummers 100 years ago. In this video, we're looking at train imitations. Today's special guest is William F. Ludwig III, grandson of the founder of the Ludwig & Ludwig Company. Welcome, Bill. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, Bill, please tell us a little bit about the railroad imitation. It's a uh, wooden box structure that is hollow inside, and it has a series of springs that you would find on a back door of a house, a screen door spring. And there's four of those at the bottom and, and four at the top with a type of metal uh, lever that goes inside and you scrape that back and forth against the springs and with the resonance of the box it creates a train-like sound. And, and this is what that actually looks like. I say I use the term it looks like a file because it, it does look like an old file but this is a smooth metal surface with a wooden handle so it's pretty basic but uh, nevertheless does the trick and uh, this is what my grandfather came up with. And as an extra added option, my grandfather decided putting a piece of bell plate suspended on top of the box so that you could strike that with a drumstick or a hammer or whatever else the drummer had closest to him and make the sound of a bell that you'd hear on a train as it left the station. I think that's fascinating, and I, I can't imagine how many different percussionists throughout the world would have used uh, an imitation like that. It, it is pretty mind-boggling to think back at the days of the silent movie era and how many movie houses were around, each of which employing two to three percussionists per, per theater that had to show up with their own contraptions, sound effects, and perform along with the silent movie for every performance. So that there is a large number of drummers involved. Uh, uh, an unbelievably large uh, number of drummers involved. Yes. Uh, that we're not even uh, including traveling shows like theatrical right. performances and right. vaudeville that uh, would also have used those and, type of contraptions. Circuses, uh, you know, there was a, I'll, I, you know, I really don't know the number, but it must be pretty large uh, total percussionists throughout the world at that time. So let's take a look at Bill demonstrating this railroad imitation. And let's take a look at Bill demonstrating this with an old silent film from 1904 called Railroad Smash Up. Thank you, Bill, for being my guest today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me and giving me the opportunity to discuss the sound effects of the past that my grandfather invented. Thank you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the flip side. This activity is made possible by the voters of Minnesota through a grant from the East Central Regional Arts Council thanks to a legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund.